ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट और अमेरिकन गवर्नमेंट कुरान सेज अजबिल्लाजीम इन अल्लाह बौमिन हत्या फसहीम कौम वर्ड इज़ कामन हेयर न करा दियर प्रॉब्लम इज इकनॉमिकल एजुकेशनल सोशल दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल इफ मुस्लिम्स आर बीटन एनी हेयर इट इज़ दियर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू इंट्रो एक्सपेक्ट दम सेल्स इट इज़ नाट अ गुड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अ गुड मैनर आई एम सॉइंग इन अ कम्यूनिटी इन ए मुस्ल विथ ए मुस्लिम्स दैट इट इज़ द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ दिस कंट्री इट इज़ द कॉन्स्परेसी ऑफ दिस कंट्री दिस इज़ नॉट माई क्वेश्चन माई क्वेश्चन इज़ टू डॉक्टर शोब साहब द क्वेश्चन ही रिसाइटेड मैनी थिंग्स फ्राम हिंदू स्क्रिप्चर आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो वाट अबाउट इफ दोज स्क्रिप्चर आर टॉकिंग अबाउट प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद सल्लाम इस वो के वी आर टेकिंग इट वाट अबाउट इफ दोज स्क्रिप्चर आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अयोध्या अबाउट बनारस अबाउट डिल्ही योरी हुयर हुयर आर मंदिर डिमोलिस्ड एंड मस्जिद आर इरेक्टेड आर वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट दोज थिंग्स एज वेल दिस इज माई क्वेश्चन The question posed by brother is that if you are accepting the prophecies from the Hindu scriptures, then what about those things which speaks about Ayodhya, which speaks about demolition, which speaks about which speak about in short anti-Islam? Brother, what we have to take the truth, whatever truth is there in the scripture, though it is completely falsehood, we have to take the truth. for the very purpose of doing dawa to them we are not considering the prophethood of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam based on their scripture even if it is nothing mentioned in their scripture still we believe that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the messenger of god we do not have we need not have any certificate from their scripture the only purpose that we want to refer from those scriptures to quote them from their scripture is to convey the message of islam to them we do not agree with the other parts of their scripture we do not say that those scriptures are authentic in a sense that it is the word of god we only say that certain truths are there in their book certain truths are there which says that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of god prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the rishi that will come in future so we are just tapping that we do not say that other parts are also authentic maybe certain truths are there and there are several books which speaks about certain truths but many things are false so just because other things are false we deny the those truths which are present in there i hope this is satisfactory jazakallah khairan before i present the last question um, i'd like to apologize for the brothers who were queuing up uh, to ask questions unfortunately time is not allowing us to do so i'm going to join two questions uh, dr Z- uh, zakir they are both for you uh, i could not leave one out uh, because uh, they both seem to be far cries uh, from a parent from a mother in particular by the looks of it one of them says My son is a student who occasionally has to travel with non-Muslims to all to another city to study. My concern is that rather than he giving his non-Muslim colleagues uh, friends dawah, he instead attempts to fit in with them and act like them and hang out in their places. How can I encourage my son to change his attitude uh, and give his friends dawah? This is one question. The second one again from my mother She says that most of the time we women are trying to teach our children about Islam. Is that a sin if we don't give dawah to any non-Muslim? The question posed is that some of the parents, some of the children they are so much influenced by the non-Muslims that when they go to colleges etc they would not like to talk about Islam and they are more effective and they are more much uh, impressed by what non muslims do and is it is it a fard is it compulsory that we should do dawa yes as allah says in the quran in surah al asr which i also said earlier in my talk in surah asr chapter 103 was 1 to 3 which says wal asr innal insana fi khusr illa allazin amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil haqq wa tawasaw bis sabr that by the token of time man is very in a state of loss except those who have faith those who have righteous deed those who exhort people to truth to dawa and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance so dawa is fard 
for every Muslim or every human being for that person to go to Jannah. If he does not enter Jannah, if he does not do Dawa, they shall not enter Jannah. It's compulsory. Now, how to see to it that our children, they do Dawa? It is because most of the things, many of the parents and even the people, the children, they do not know the advantages as well as the good things about Islam. Many of them, they're apologetic about the religion. Because they apologize, they feel, okay, for namesake, we are Muslims, and they're very much impressed by the non-Muslims. What we have to do is that we have to prove, alhamdulillah, that Islam is the best way of life. And the good things about Islam. If we prove to them that, alhamdulillah, Islam is the best way of life, Islam is a more scientific religion as compared to, to Christianity or any other religion, they'll be proud of their religion. The reason they like being with non-Muslims is because they think that Islam is not the best way of life. What we have to do is that we have to prove to these Muslims, who are namesake Muslims, that Islam is the best way of life. So we have to let them read certain books like Islam, which proves that Islam is the best way of life, Quran and modern science, and prove to them that Christianity is not the best way of life, that if you read the Bible, Bible is against science and technology, and Quran, if you read Quran, what is mentioned in the Quran today, what Quran is mentioned, the scientific points we have come to know recently, what is mentioned in the Quran is 1400 years back, like we learn today from science, that, that we have come to know that about the Big Bang Theory. How did the world came into existence? And what is mentioned in the Quran is 14 years back, which we came to know recently, maybe 50 years back, 100 years back. We previously did not know that Quran, that, that today the world is spherical in nature. The first time we have come to know that the earth is spherical is, seven, is 1597, when they came to know that when they, they sailed around the earth. And this is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back. In Surah Naziyat, chapter number 79, verse number 30. Previously, we thought that the light of the moon is its own light. Recently, yesterday in science, I mean 50 years back, 100 years back, we have come to know that the light of the moon is not its own light, but it's a reflected light. Now, this is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back. Previously, we thought that the light, that the sun, that the sun was stationary. Recently, we have come to know that the sun rotates about its own axis. In school, we have come to know recently, 50 years back, which is mentioned in the Quran 14 years back. So when we tell them that, alhamdulillah, Islam is a scientific way of life, which is far superior than any other way of life, then they'll be proud to be Muslims. Unfortunately, we feel that Islam is not the best way of life. If we tell our children that it is the best way of life and prove to them that Islam is the best way of life, inshallah, they will proud to be Muslims. And we have to talk to them about books regarding dawah, etc. And then these children of us, they'll be proud to be Muslims and they'll convey the message to the non-Muslims also. Hope that answers the question. Wa akhir dawan alhamdulillah bil alameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Before we finalize uh, and conclude the program, uh, I'll request all the brothers and sisters to remain seated uh, for for next uh, five to ten minutes. Can I ask uh, Brother Yusuf Chambers uh, to come up here and uh, literally within three minutes uh, say what he has to say, please? Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. Thank you very much for being patient tonight. I need to remind you and reiterate upon what the scholars have said tonight about giving dawah and supporting dawah, supporting this work. Dawah doesn't just necessarily mean, by the way, going out, putting a table and putting lots of books on top of it and sitting in uh, small heath here and waiting for the non-Muslims to come. Dawah can be supporting the people who do that work. It can be putting money in a hat or a bucket. It can be, you know, writing a letter and complaining about you know, Islamophobia, which we see in this country at the moment, you know, and which we've seen, in, in fact, uh, you know, in this country for years and years. So, before you leave, 